my loves and welcome to my channel if this is the first time you are seeing my beautiful face my name is Chetta and I create a lot of mind-blowing yummy banging content in Apuja Nigeria you are definitely in the right place welcome on board to my returning subscribers you guys already know the group now but thank you so much for supporting me all through this period please if you're here to click the subscribe button I beg support me just click the subscribe button down below like this video if you enjoyed because i promise you you are definitely going to enjoy it don't forget to share it with your friends turn on your post notification because after this video i'm coming up with a full-blown review of transcorp hilton so you guys do not want to miss out on that and also follow me on my socials they are up on the screen support me guys and yeah guys without rambling let's get into today's video so i don't know if you guys can see my background but this room is extremely chaotic and that's because guys as you, as you can see in the title i'm packing up for a weekend getaway staycation basically in transcorp hilton the highest rated hotel in abuja nigeria um the reason why i'm doing this is because so for a while now i have my mental health has been at a particular space i've not been sleeping properly i've not been resting and as you guys know i live in a family house and there's always interruptions so i just started to take this weekend off to go and relax chill unwind just rest and rest and and of course create content for you guys because i mean why not so um, i'm packing up my stuff i don't know if you guys can see again but i'm packing up my stuff um i have my clothing here because i plan to um film some videos as well while i'm there but i also plan to prioritize rest because guys see i i really need that rest like my life has been go 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 for a while now and I honestly, honestly, honestly need that rest. And I am planning to leave now and I have a list of, as usual, things that I need to pack up just to make sure that I do not forget any single thing. I don't know if you guys can see my background, but let me show you. I'm just packing up in a tiny box the little things I'll, I, I'll need. Today is a Saturday. I plan to check in today and check out on Monday afternoon. Because guys, see, I know I am going to rest and I know that I'm still going to create content and I know that I'm still going to edit content but I just want to make sure that this weekend I prioritize rest so guys let's start packing up so guys right now my room is a complete mess I've already laid out the things that I'll need some over there this is the tiny box I intend to take for the trip so I just want to quickly pack up and head out and yeah guys let me let's do the packing together okay so guys this is the box I intend to travel with is a tiny box so very tiny box but yeah um you push not mind my feet is a swimming trunk but it's like a play suit so I just want to wear it and wear something underneath possibly or just wear it like that so I have a few clothes in it and I'll just remove it and just do a quick pack up So guys i am ready this is the box i'm taking a tiny box i'm just going to quickly wear this under the place suit and head out immediately so yeah so right now this is it this is how i'm going so yeah i'm ready guys so let's head out Transcorp has to be one of the most beautiful places in Abuja and the security to enter into this place is extremely top notch. Listen to my sister and I banter while we get checked in. So after you get checked in, you proceed to the gate and at the gate, you are given a tally. Now this tally is the item with which you can only come out of this premise. Like if you do not have it, you are not allowed to leave the premise just for security purposes. And then if you are in this vicinity without any purpose, like maybe you 
coming for something or lodging into the premise like maybe you came to drop off someone and you exceed your one hour duration you are expected to pay a particular amount of money with which when you are scanned using that tally when exiting the premise you cannot leave unless you pay the debt now there is a waiver for those like i said that came to lodge or that came for a program or the other but you need to go to the front desk to clear out this before leaving now just enjoy the rest of the drive through arrived now or rather i just arrived now i'm here with my sister sha because we want to to film something quickly together but we just arrived now so let's go in and see what we have let me show you guys my view from the car now so yeah transcope is very beautiful but let's go in the process of checking in uh, is another thing like to enter the premise they will scan and scan and scan all that they can scan but anyways we eventually got in this is the reception we did the basic check-ins usually this place is literally always extremely busy but today it wasn't as busy as it used to be but yeah we did the whole check-in process and then a concierge was called up to take us to our room um yeah my room was at the ninth floor and as you guys can see he took us all the way upstairs mind you access to this lift is only if you have a given access card maybe to a room or wherever but yeah um he was able to take us upstairs we got to the ninth floor he took us straight to the room helped us unlock the door packed in every single thing into the room gave us the extra key and yeah that was where he left he was the sweetest and nicest guy ever like he was really really doing his job and mind you guys this room was insane i'll soon give you guys a room tour but absolutely beautiful this was him handing us the key before he left and yeah that's it <music> Okay, so guys, um, I just got in and let me give you a tour. Um, the bathroom looking cute. I have a robe, by the way. Yeah, you guys can see from the picture, but yeah, this is it. Very amazing, beautiful lightning. And let me show you guys the room. Very, very beautiful space. Um, this is what the bed looks like, the setup. Um, I've already packed all my ngongo here, all my load luggage. Yeah, my sister is here. So yeah, uh, let me see what my view looks like from the window. Wow. Are you guys seeing it? Like, Abuja is beautiful. If we should stop playing. Like, it's so beautiful. I have a quick gesture for you guys first spots. Let me just settle. Hi, guys. I just checked in. You guys have seen how beautiful the space is, no doubt. But I just wanted to tell you guys how I was able to secure this space. So, um, I did go to their website, but I kept seeing some prices that were not aligning with me, honestly. And thankfully, I have a colleague of mine that usually secures this space for my posters, uh, whenever they want to stay here in Transcorp. So I asked her how far I'm looking to stay in Transcorp. How do I get like an affordable rate and all of that, basically? So she said, um, she said to get on their website. I think on their website, there's a toll free number that you can contact for bookings. Uh, or for anything basically and then when you connect to them you tell them oh, what exactly you want and then they'll route you to the booking line so she routed to them and then she asked them that oh she told them that oh she wants she wants to stay for two days blah 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 blah, blah. so they gave her i think 260 or 270k for like a night sometime during the week and she, and she told me i was like ah oh, that's outrageous so she just said oh there are weekend rates i'm like okay since there are weekend rates let's look out for the weekend rates so 
one friday she reached out to the toll free number again they routed her to the booking line and then she was able to see the room and like i think 130 something okay i'll put it on the screen now the exact amount and she told me immediately i was like we need to lock down this space so immediately she booked down the dates and then we made the payments and then sent it to them they confirmed payment and then um we locked down the space then we dropped in notes that we want to stay on the ninth floor away from the elevator now getting here today all i needed to do was just to check in because she reserved it with my name she did the reservation but it was with my name so we checked in with i told them oh chatter they checked and stuff with my id to confirm and then they told me okay that they have a room for me that is on the ninth floor away from the elevator but it is not ready can i wait and i'm like nah so they said okay let them give me what they have right now that is not so near to the elevator but it's not so far then i also asked them for additional info now so they said that since it's an executive room i'll put the name i think it's a king's executive room or whatever the name will be on display on the screen right now so they told me that um i am entitled to breakfast lunch and dinner with the person i'm lodging with as well as um i have access to the gym to the pool and all those basic amenities basically and yeah so guys i am excited for this day i am so so happy i am about to start enjoying myself you guys can already see how beautiful the space is so guys yeah i so said let me give you guys an update and then yeah we'll talk later Bye. like i said earlier my sister and i were to film a video so i set up quickly for us to do that what is your ideal talking stage period for me i feel give or take three months within three months you should know what you're going for me i would want best to differ and say by the end of the month what are we talking about like <laughs> what we have talked about for one month have been not plenty like by the second month we should be already doing the talk uh, should be enough. Moshe. It's true now. <laughs> Can you date a younger dude? Well, I see nothing wrong in that. <laughs> Moshe, Kuga is Kuga. Ah! <laughs> He's a 10, but all his friends are girls. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. So, um, guys, I just finished filming the video with my sister not too long ago. It should be uploaded already by the time you're watching this video. So, I'll add a link up. Go and watch it. It's a very interesting 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 video she just left now and honestly i just want to chill out for the rest of the night i have tried so i just want to lie down a bit do some work on my system um then i don't know if i mentioned but this room comes with complimentary breakfast lunch and dinner and it's already time for dinner 6 to 10 6 to 9 p.m and yeah afterwards i'll just go for dinner and see how the rest of the day progresses <music> So it was time for dinner and we went down to the executive lounge and we did not like what we saw so we went back upstairs and we called the reception to tell them that we wanted to place an order and they told us to turn on our tv screen and we would see the menu now they had a variety like if you see the menu now on the screen there was a variety but guys the prices were outrageous like they had a variety of meals from main dishes to drinks to all nighters to breakfast to all of that but yeah sure we went ahead and placed an order for i think um jollof rice with pepper chicken and yeah they delivered it um after 45 minutes which is what they said over the phone and this is what it looked like <music> So the next morning, after our experience we had the night before of not seeing what we liked, we headed back up to the executive lounge and guys, they had a variety of breakfast from Akara to plantains to um, sweet potatoes, um, fish sauce, moi moi, pap, like the list was endless. They had English breakfast as well. They had it all. But yeah, um, I really was not hungry at the time. So I just opted to sip some hot water. Now, like I said, you are allowed to have breakfast with whoever you came with. At least two people under the room. And yeah, it's free. When you are done, you just get your bill that you sign on just to notify that you came for breakfast. Or you took him for breakfast. Just for accounting purposes, I think. Yeah, and that was it. 
um i sipped on my hot water and when i was done i went back up downstairs to my room i almost burnt my tongue but we thank god <laughs> hey guys how are you doing so i have been sleeping which is the sole purpose of why i came here and yeah after the breakfast i've been sleeping and all of that so now i want to go take my shower do um a video recording with someone and then head over to the pool to see what i can find oh i forgot and look for lunch first before i head over to the pool they said they serve complimentary snacks as lunch so i'll also check that out and see what i can find there and yeah guys i'll keep you guys updated <laughs> so it's time for a quick skincare yeah and i had to dance before i started out so i started out with brushing my teeth brush 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 after brushing my teeth i decided to apply my face cleanser and then use my salt scrub to scrub my face a bit before hopping into the shower for a quick bath so immediately i got out of the shower i applied my body oil all over my body and then i started with my cleansing so i got my toner and a cotton pad and just cleansed and removed every other dirt all over my face making sure to reach the back of my ears my neck and all of that yeah next i took my vitamin c serum and applied it all over my face just to make sure that the vitamin c is touching everywhere do not forget your neck and your ear finally to round things off i took my sunscreen and applied it all over and yeah guys that was it so if you guys remember i did not have breakfast and at this point i was already hungry so i went back to the executive lounge to see if there is any snack this was around, this was around 12 noon and then i grabbed a glass of juice some fruits a few biscuits and puff puff and yeah i just nibbled on that before heading back to the room I rested a little and napped and then later on that evening i said let us head down to the pool to see what is there and guys it felt like the whole abuja was in this pool this was sunday evening everywhere was literally choked up like the whole world came out to the poolside this is what the pool looked like absolutely large beautiful big and deep very deep there was also a kids pool where the children were swimming away while we were in the adult side of things so immediately we got there we just changed into our swimwear and then we decided to just sit around and enjoy the environment get used to the environment um look around and enjoy what we're seeing before we now jumped into the pool so immediately we jumped into the pool we did a bit of warm-ups here and there before we started swimming proper and mind you the good thing about this their pool is that they have a heater to heat up the pool when it gets really cold which is really really amazing anyways we swam away enjoyed the nights before we called it a day <laughs> As soon as we were done swimming, we went straight to change up and then we headed to the executive lounge for dinner. I struggled to enjoy their dinner, but I would say I enjoyed today's. Hi guys. So guys, um, I had a great sleep last night. Today is Monday. It's like 6, 11-ish. And I want to head to the gym and hopefully I can also use the steam room as well. So let's go. The fitness room is on the M2 floor, I believe. And yeah, I got on this floor. And guys, once I got in, I headed straight to the women's locker room. 
now getting in here you would see a locker space where you can keep whatever it is you came to the gym with then when you walk in you would see a lot of things i mean i have to admire myself in the mirror first but yeah um, when you walk in you see a sauna i use the sauna at the end of my gym experience and yeah let's take a look at what the sauna looks like very cute and cozy space next you will see a steam room but the steam room was not functioning on that day and you will see a notice on top of the room here next you would see something they call is it a vichy shower and it's restricted i was not able to access that place next you'll see a shower room very simple cute shower room a changing room some toilets and yeah guys that was it basically so i dropped my stuff and headed straight into the gym now when you walk into the gym you are welcomed by the cardio room there you'll find all types of thread mills stair masters cycling machines you name it for um all forms of movements on the thread mills mill basically and then when you walk into the second section that is where you will meet every other machine and all the dumbbells for strength training and whatnot so yeah this is the spacious part of will i say the gym and you will see a lot of people already using the space and enjoying their workout and of course i joined in and started my own workout and yeah i had an absolutely amazing workout session that day um after skipping i headed to my lifting session so i went to lift to do some squats some will i say lifts for my thighs and got that knocked off and i used a few more equipments in the gym yeah and enjoyed the entire session You would think that most of the people you will meet in Transcorp will be snobs, but that's absolutely wrong. There are a lot of friendly people that I met in this gym, like this instrument. Now, I had already started my first set when this lady came and told me that, oh, I need to release something. And then she released it for me. I mean, it was my first time using this instrument. And then I had to redo the set again. And a lot of other helpful people around. After that, I called it a day and we headed straight to the sauna. Had an amazing 10 minutes sauna session. And I was dripping with sweat by the time I was done. Yeah, guys, that was it. Headed back, freshened up, went out for my last breakfast before checking out because this was checkout day. And yeah, guys, that's it. Okay, so guys, this is it. I have packed up my properties and yeah, I am leaving now. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to take this adventure to another five-star hotel in Abuja or any hotel at all or resort. Put recommendations down below in abuja in lagos anywhere just let me know and yeah i'll make it a series please don't forget to like do not forget to, do not forget to like do not forget to subscribe do not forget to share and yeah guys i'll see you in my next video which will be a review of the place so you guys should get ready and sit around for that because you will definitely enjoy it all right guys ciao